Hello everyone, this is a practical course tour video, just a brief video to make sure that we're all on the same page, that we see how the course is organized on the Blackboard site, and what you need to do, what the requirements for the course are. Let's start with what's on the screen right now, which is the announcements. Uh, it's very important that you pay attention to announcements as they come out. I use them a lot. It's my main way of communicating with you. And it's your responsibility to make sure that you keep up with the announcements. Um, sometimes you'll see them appear in your email, but sometimes you won't. So I'm just presuming that you are checking in on the Blackboard site on a regular basis, that you're not just sort of once a week or looking in, but, but I'm, I'm, you're reading what I sent out. I, I just presume that. That's up to you. That's something you need to do. So I will be using the announcements quite often, and uh, please keep up with them. The course is arranged by week. Week one, that's what we're doing this week, the Bhagavad Gita. Week two, the Doors of Perception. Week three, the Mino, etc. Uh, other than that, you can see, of course, that as a, if you watch the course, fit, course overview video, the course is made up thematically into four units. Uh, introduction to part one, the individual in reality. Part two, rational inquiry. Part three, how should I live? And part four, human nature and the social order. Uh, before the weekly folders with all the materials in them, you'll see that there are these little things that says, for instance, introduction to part one, the individual in reality. If you click on that, it'll just take you to a video, which will give you an overview of the unit. Uh, I think you should watch those. I think this is the first thing you should watch for this course is this overview video, just because it explains what I'm getting at in this part of the course. So of course you should watch it. And they'll be up. You'll see they're up for every part of the course introduction to part two rational inquiry there's a lot of videos for this course the part of important part of the course so that's how the thing's laid out and you'll access the exams for the course and the other sort of things um, as uh, as they come up they will be in the main menu Uh, if we look at the requirements for the course, quite simple. Uh, there'll be study questions each week that need to be done. There's a weekly discussion board which needs to be done. There'll be a midterm exam after week five, or perhaps I'll, I'll let you know, maybe after week four, actually. A final exam and then a final essay. Okay, and I'll talk about each of those, but let's talk about week by week what your how things are set up. So if we Click on week one, the work you immediately have to do. It, it the, the weekly folders are always arranged in the same way. First comes the reading. If you click on it, it'll, this will take you to a PDF of the whole book, of a particular translation of this ancient uh, Sanskrit work, the Bhagavad Gita. You don't have to read the whole book in this case. It's, it's a PDF of the whole book. You just need to read uh, teachings one through five. Uh, but that's where the reading is. It's in. It's part of the PDF of the whole book. Uh, it sets out here, obviously, Bhagavad Gita reading. The reading is from the above PDF right here. Uh, the Bhagavad Gita, teachings 1 through 5, pages 30 to 62. So that's the reading. First, we get the reading. Uh, then we get the videos. Uh, I've prepared videos, or I will prepare videos for each one of the readings. Uh, if you click on the video link, it'll take you to videos on my YouTube channel, in this case, a playlist on my YouTube channel of, of three three videos in which I talk about uh, the reading. I, I don't check to see whether you watch these videos, but I, they're an important part of the course, uh, watching these videos. So you'll see that there's three videos this week. They're all on a playlist on my YouTube channel. After the videos, we have the study questions, the study question assignment. This is a assignment's not really graded. As long as you make a good faith effort to... Uh, to answer each question, you'll get full credit, but it needs to be turned in on time to get full credit. You need to try to answer each question. So the study questions will all, will be a, a weekly assignment. That's the, the first thing that you need to do, really, uh, each week is to answer the study questions. They're always due at the same time at the end of the week, which I consider to be Sunday midnight. So today is Monday, April 3rd. So these questions will be due Sunday by midnight, Sunday uh, April 9th, and they'll always be due at the end of the week, that is midnight on Sunday. 
Then finally, we have a discussion board. If you click on it, you'll see that there's no starter prompt. There's no prompt from me or suggestion about what you should uh, what you should focus on. I just want your response to the reading. So the first thing you should do is write a substantive commentary on the reading, whatever your thoughts are on the reading. And that should be substantive. It doesn't have to be an essay form. It doesn't have to be a whole essay, but it can't just be I liked it or you no, know, you have to write something, some idea, some response, whatever it is, uh, to what we read. Uh, and then you need to reply to at least one other student's response. So you won't get credit, at least full credit for participation in the weekly discussion board until you've posted at least two times. It's very important. You'll see that if you don't post at least two times, uh, you'll get you'll get no credit or half credit. So you have to post at least two times. The first time a substantive, yes, this is what I thought of the reading and why. It doesn't have to be like a whole essay or something, but it has to be thoughtful. And then at least one thoughtful response to another student's post. It can't just be, I agree with you, good post. It has to address what they actually said. So those are the weekly requirements, and they are always the same. You have to do the reading. I would say watch the videos. Then answer the study questions and uh, then post something on the discussion board. All this needs to be due, uh, both the discussion board posts and the study question responses by Sunday at midnight. Please do not wait to the very end of the week to do your discussion posts. If you do, you, you'll hear from me because you, you really need to do it earlier in the week, um, which is not asking too much because, you know, just this one thing you need to do, a couple of things you need to do. And, and the reason I want you to do it earlier in the week is because I want there to be some discussion on the discussion board. If everybody waits till Sunday at 11 o'clock to do it, then there'll be no really interest. In so do it early, as early in the week as possible. You'll see that every uh, folder is the same. Uh, I have actually, I haven't put up the, the videos or the study questions yet for week two, but that'll happen. So concentrate on week one, right? Uh, reading videos that I prepared. These are for this class. Uh, study questions and discussion board. That's your weekly routine. Okay. And then after week four, I'm going to say after week four, Will be a midterm exam. The midterm exam will be a brief, maybe take a 45 minutes or so, uh, short answer questions about the reading so far, about the Bhagavad Gita, about Huxley's Doors of Perceptions, and then the two dialogues by Plato. So uh, basically a reading knowledge exam. Do you know the basics uh, of what we've done? After that, uh, the other two assignments at the end of the course will be the final exam and the final essay. I'll put up some more stuff describing that. Uh, I obviously have to add, a, add a, an official syllabus, although you, you need all you need, you know all you need to know, but I'll put up, they, they want an official syllabus, so I'll put that up. Uh, the final exam will be a more, will be a comprehensive exam, which will cover everything in the course, and it'll consist of probably three essay questions. That'll be need that'll need be needed to respond to in essay form. So there'll be longer answer essay questions that will ask you to write a an essay, a structured essay, or three of them actually, having to do with the subject matter of the course. So it'll be there'll be broad questions that will require you to have familiarity with everything that we've read. So it'll be different in nature from the. Um, from the midterm exam, which is short answer. And then finally, a final essay, which I imagine will be a four-page essay based upon whatever idea you have about the course. Uh, there's no assigned topic. You'll have to come up with a topic. The only requirement is that it uh, be focused on at least one of the readings uh, that we've done for the course. It's not a general overview of everything we've read, some idea, something that you want to focus on in the Bhagavad Gita or the Enchiridion or Plato or John Locke's theory of government, whatever it is, uh, some essay on an original idea of your own. It is an essay. It's not a book report. It's an opinion paper. You have an idea. You're trying to put it across. So other than the weekly assignments of the study questions and the discussion board, 
you have a midterm exam, you have a final exam, and you have a final essay of about a thousand words, and that's that's really it. So that's the course. I hope that I've laid things out as clearly as I as I can. But feel free to contact me by email or by cell phone in the teacher contact information that I'll be giving you. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. I like it when students contact me about the course.